Welcome. In front of me is a Sharp Aquas C10, and today I'll show you a couple of tweaks and tricks that you can do on this device. So we're gonna start off with the display mode or screen mode as it's called, which can be located under settings and display. Right here. And you have two options right here. So you have the standard and dynamic. Now the dynamic will increase the, con uh, the saturation of images, making them a little bit more colorful, if you like that. So yeah, and it's basically active. It's just a switch like so. So yeah, now moving on further on, we're gonna move to uh, animations. So the phone normally doesn't actually have any animation settings, but you can find it in the developer options. And as you will see, everything that you open or close is in a way animated one way or another. So to shorten them or completely remove them, you can go all the way down to about phone. Let's go to uh, build number right here and tap it seven times. After seven, you will see that you are now a developer message. Now, if you have some kind of passcode, it will before prompt you to confirm the passcode. Uh, and then once you do, it will uh, enable this. So now you can go back one position to go into the main page of settings and you should see additional option called developer options. And in here, we can scroll down to right here. You'll see window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animation duration scale. Now these options are a little bit past halfway as you can see the sliders right here. So it's near bar bottom, but yeah, basically you can tap on it and it will give you a uh, different scales. So you can, by default, it's set to one. That's the normal one. 0.5 is half speed and off. Well, it's self-explanatory. There is no animation whatsoever. Now the window that is right now, uh, which is, if I go back, uh, the window animation scale is the window that opens up when I click on it. So if I change this to times 10, you can actually see the drastic difference in it. So that is times 10. If you set it to half speed, it will just be a uh, way smoother and faster and just feels a bit snappier. Now, if you want to go to extreme, you can always set it to off and now it just appears and there is no animation whatsoever for it. For it. There's also animation the transition animation scale and animation duration scale. Now both of them apply to different animations so you could set them both to off as well. And now you will see that there is no more animations of like this, whatever you do. Everything just appears on the screen that doesn't have any animation and also makes accessing different apps a little bit quicker. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna go to a feature called screen recording and it can be found in a notification panel once you pull down on the second page right here. So once you tap on it, it will immediately start recording it. And whatever you do from now on is basically recorded by the device, even with your finger touching the display. So if I will open something like so, I can stop recording and go to gallery and play it back. And you should see it now in real time, what I have done before. Now it does not record uh, audio so it's only just the screen itself so if you're planning to use it for some purposes you will have to add your own audio i guess or have it just completely silent okay so moving on we're gonna go into the um, use of airplane mode which can be found right here but keep in mind that uh, airplane mode just in itself is just well kind of not very eventful and doesn't really do anything apart from disconnecting you from the world. Uh, but there's an additional option that you can use it for. If you're struggling with call qualities, uh, with your reception and your calls are dropping off and just is some, something is unclear when you're talking to someone, you can use airplane mode to basically disconnect from the cell tower that you are connected at the moment and then disable the airplane mode and the device will reconnect to the closest cell tower hopefully also improving the call quality or any problems that you might have had with the service before. So that is a, a little bit of a better use for airplane mode. And the last thing I want to share, you, share with you is the soft key settings. So soft keys are the buttons right here. You can flip them over, but it also adds additional settings on this device. So let's go, I think it's right here, soft key settings. So you have the option to basically flip it over as you can see. Uh, or you can also enable the uh, navigation by the button that is right here. 
Uh, unfortunately, the, uh, unfortunately, there is no way to actually remove the buttons right here, even though you have access to the physical button right there. So that's kind of a shame, but still, if you prefer to use the button on the bottom, you can go back, you can go to recent by swiping to the side, hold it to go home. It's a fairly nice use of it. Now it would have been better if you could actually remove the, phys the well, buttons that are on the display, but unfortunately there is no setting for that. So that would conclude the tweaks and tricks that I want to share. And if you found them helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.